More than 3,300 years after his death, the young King Tutankhamun is known around the world. His golden burial mask is a true icon of Egyptian archaeology. At least 5,400 objects accompanied the youthful pharaoh on his journey to the afterlife. The glint of gold everywhere outshone the intricate and beautiful objects made of glass. Now, modern science and photographic techniques are uncovering the spectacular artisanship and creativity of ancient Egyptian glass workers at the dawn of glass making. This turquoise blue headdress is made entirely of glass. A gold band wraps around the center. An incised inscription with the name of the king appears on both sides. In antiquity, the corner of the base was damaged either as a flaw in manufacture or through breakage. A replacement must have been custom made to repair the base. This is the earliest known example of an ancient glass repair. A second extraordinary glass headdress is cast from a single piece of translucent blue glass the color of lapis lazuli at about the size of a piece of paper and weighing almost four and a half pounds. It is one of the largest glass objects to survive from Pharaonic Egypt. This object too shows ancient repairs where defects in the glass from trapped air bubbles were concealed with glass inserts. This ritualistic glass writing palette is the largest of the 15 writing pallets found in Tutankhamun's tomb. Instead of reeds for writing, the pallet holds several yellow and dark blue solid glass rods. This protective scarab pendant was neatly wrapped into the mummy bandages. Extraordinarily thin pieces of red glass rods adorn the legs of the heron. A small glass statuette of a squatting king as a child may represent Akhenaten, whom some scholars believe to be the father of Tutankhamun. At the centerpiece of a pair of Tutankhamun's earrings are gracefully sculpted duck or goose heads made of translucent blue glass. A ceremonial sickle gets its serrated cutting edge from pieces of red, turquoise, and blue glass. Behind the glass, in the eye of the cobra, a universe of hidden details emerges. Look more closely at the pharaoh's magnificent diadem. Behind transparent glass, dark pigment was added to a tiny cavity on the back of the eye to form the pupil. This gives a lifelike appearance to the eye and takes advantage of the transparency and brilliance of the glass. Eyes of many statues and figures in the tomb were made in similar ways, often with even more detail and color. The pommel of Tutankhamun's golden dagger shows a bird with open wings made from glass. Infrared photography highlights fine details on the bird's body, not seen since the dagger was laid to rest across the abdomen of the mummy. The canopic coffins, which held the mummified organs of the king, also bear glass inlays. The details of a hieroglyph in the shape of a fish are painted on the back of the glass, which is less than half an inch wide. Over 40 reverse painted glass inlays on the golden throne add detail and variety to the central scene of the king and the queen. The muddy brown cushion under the arm of the pharaoh looks unassuming, but color enhanced photography highlights the pattern on the textile. The floral columns flanking the scene 
look rather unremarkable at first. But UV light discloses intricate filigree details in the paint, which create a naturalistic appearance of the papyrus. Under the pharaoh's feet, a small footstool just looks like blotchy red and white. Color enhancement shows further details. Infrared photography reveals the true scene. Two bound captives lie facing downward, trampled by the might of the Egyptian pharaoh. Let's return to the golden mask that covered the head of the mummy. It was made with thick sheets of gold, inlaid with precious stones such as lapis lazuli, obsidian, and quartz. The blue stripes of the Nemes headdress are made of opaque blue glass. These are the longest pieces of glass from ancient Egypt. The beard too has intricate blue glass inlays that fit neatly into the gold supports. This is only the beginning of the amazing glass objects discovered in the tomb of Tutankhamun. As scientists continue to unlock these secrets, what will be discovered next?